Backend Tables Editor in WordPress. Uh, tables that are generated with the Table Constructor feature can be edited from the backend as well as from as from front end. And these tables are slightly different from the classic WP tables that are basically just linked to data source. So the tables generated with table constructor manually or by importing CSV or Excel file can be uh, can be edited from backend as I said so you can see these tables uh, they have type called manual in the browse page and also they have one more action button here which is called edit data uh, each table that was, was generated with table constructor will have this edit data button here so let's click it and see how the backend editor looks basically it's a preview of the table but it doesn't have the filtering block because usually you would, wouldn't need to filter anything it doesn't have the table tools like toggle printing, export to CSV, etc. It just has the table itself, uh, pagination columns, uh, sorry, pagination controls, uh, the editing controls, and a couple of buttons here add column, remove column, go to table settings, and close. Uh, let's go through all of the functions of the backend editor. First of all, of course, it's the editing functions. Uh, so we can choose, select any row by clicking it. It gets highlighted. And then you can click on the edit button. And then the editor appears. We have a separate, separate tutorial on configuring uh, different columns in editable tables or uh, d choosing different editor input types. You can browse uh, to previous and next entries within this uh, within this editor it also switches the pages of the table when necessary you see now it's switching the page and uh, you can apply when you apply you see that uh, overlay appears, it means that the data is saved in the backend and when it's saved it shows us the notification here. Or if we have some, uh, some problem, if there is some mistake in the input, for example, some column is defined that it cannot be empty and you're trying to save it with the blank input, it will show us a validation error. Also, it's uh, showing the MySQL side errors, for example, when the insert or update failed on MySQL side, you will see the error that the MySQL server reported also here. So that's more or less it with the editor itself. So we can add, add new rows, edit existing rows. But also the backend editor has a couple of functions that front editor doesn't have. It's add column and remove column. When you need to add a column, for example, uh, you remember that there is one more column necessary here, uh, let's say director name. You can say that we need, want to add a new column with this name, choose one of the types and choose where to insert it. So you can insert to the beginning of the table before all of the existing columns in the end of the table, after all of the existing columns, you can provide default value for the column and you can uh, check or uncheck this checkbox if you want uh, to pre-fill all the existing rows uh, with some default value in this column. So for example, if you define some, some value here and check this checkbox, all the rows that already exist in the table will have this value uh, in this column uh, sorry okay so we will not use any default value here we say director name and we want to insert it after company I click OK it's loading and you see that we have a new column here called director name and we can uh, 
edit it now from here. And of course, there is additionally a remove column function here. So if we don't need some column anymore, for example, this column that we just created, director name, we can choose to remove it. We just select it with the drop down, and we need to double check if we are know what we are doing because once we click OK, this column will be deleted from MySQL site without any undo, and you can't take it back if you deleted it accidentally. So we click OK and the column is removed. So basically that's it. Uh, backend editor is really similar to frontend editor, but you can also modify the table structure from here. And when you need to uh, customize some of the column settings, you can click go to table settings and uh, redefine everything here as well as for any WP data table. Okay, thanks for watching and see you next tutorials. WP Data Tables, the easiest way to render interactive editable tables on your WordPress site. Purchase WP Data Tables exclusively on Code Canyon.